Sarmonex. Well, I've been working day and night on Professor Von Himmel's time travel project, but this project is just wearing me out. Why, I can fall asleep right here on my feet. <laughs> oh, Dr. Sarmonex! Dr. Sarmonex! I was looking for the doctor. Have you seen him? He's, he's asleep again. Help me wake him up. Dr. Sarmonex! When, where, how, why, hello. <laughs> it's me, I'm over here. Oh, hello, it's you. <laughs> yes, it's me. I was coming to check on you and see how the time travel screen is coming along. Oh, well, it's coming along. <laughs> yes? Well, um, we're pretty close. I okay. have this power source hooked up to my time screen, you know? All right. Why don't we give it a whirl? Okay, go and whirl. I'll punch in a random year. How about 1963? All right. All right, and... Uh, voila! Maybe. <laughs> oh, <gasps> it worked. Wow, good heavens, that is a strange looking baby. That's me. That's you? That's me as a baby. It worked. My oh. time screen is a success. <laughs> Congratulations, Dr. Sobinick. <laughs> Your time screen can now see into the past. Yes, we can see into the past. Now, mm. only if I could get the travel part to work. Hmm. Well, let me see. If this small power our source here was able to help us see all the way to the past, maybe what you need is a big burst of power. <gasps> a big burst of energy. I don't yes, know where to get that. Loads of sugar. Oh, no, 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 no. Do Dr. Salmonex, cookie and candies, those are good for a little burst of energy just for a minute. But after they wear off, they make you very sleepy. Right, Dr. Salmonex? <sighs> He's asleep. Yeah, right here, right now, with me. I was talking to you, oh. and you were snoring. Oh, what? Are you sure it was me? Pretty sure, yes. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what you need. You need a giant burst of energy. <laughs> and I know just where to find it. Right there in that power source. <laughs> Go on, open it up. You've got it, boss. <laughs> Lord, give us one powerful story. Oh, he always does. I can't wait to see. Oh! Here's an amazing story about the prophet Elisha. Elisha? Don't you mean Elijah with a J? <laughs> no, no, this was Elisha with a Sha. What's the difference? <laughs> One has a J and the other has a Sha. Ah. Yeah. Now, also, Elisha was Elijah's helper. And he took on the cloak and the ministry that Elijah had created. Oh, so Elisha was kind of like Elijah Jr. You might say that, yes. Elisha was always pointing people to God and showing them God's power. Oh. Now, at this time, the king of Aram was at war with Israel. Oh. oh, and he kept trying to attack the king of Israel. Oh, well, that king better watch out who he attacks. Uh, the Israelites are God's chosen people. That's right. And Elisha was always warning Israel's king so that he could avoid the attacks. Oh, I'm sure that made King Aram very angry. It sure did. He sent soldiers and horses on chariots oh. to surround the city where Elisha was so that he could capture him. Oh, my Lord. You know what? That's just what Elisha's servant said. When Elisha's servant saw that they were surrounded, he said, Oh, my Lord, what shall we do? Oh, well, what, what did Elisha say? Oh, he said, Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. What did Elisha mean by that? <laughs> uh, did, did Israel's army ride to the rescue? Oh, better than that. Elisha was talking about a different kind of army. Listen to what the Bible says. Okay. And Elisha prayed, O oh Lord, open his eyes so that he may see. And then the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he looked and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around 
and Elisha. Wow, so that's what Elisha meant. The, the invisible army of God was surrounding them. Exactly. Elisha had the faith to see that God's protection was all around them. And God filled the hills with heaven's horses and surrounded Elisha with chariots of fire. Wow. And it all started with prayer. It did. <laughs> Who prayed? Well, Elisha, the prophet. Oh. Yeah. First, Elisha prayed that his servant would see God's protection. Oh, and God opened his eyes. Yes, and then he prayed that God would blind the enemy soldiers. God blinded King Aram's army? Why would God do that? Because God didn't want him in that city. So Elisha led them far away to Samaria. Wow. <laughs> I wish Elisha would pray for me like that. I feel like I'm never going to get done with this time travel project. I could sure use some chariots of fire to... <laughs> Dr. Sabinick! Oh, 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 what? How? Why? And when? <laughs> oh, Dr. Sabinick, you were sleeping again! Oh. You have really been working too hard on this time travel yes. project. Fortunately, God's army is surrounding you. They are? <laughs> I don't... I don't see anybody. Well, remember, just because you don't see them doesn't mean they're not there. Oh. We can't see when God sends his angels or his horses or even his chariots of fire to help us. But they are there just the same. Do you mean to say that God's army and his chariots of fire could be surrounding us at this very moment? That's right, yes. God wants us to know that we don't have to be afraid because he surrounds us with his protection. Wow, the protection was there all the time. I just had to have someone help me open my eyes. Well, amen to that. <laughs> well, we need to finish this time travel project, kids, yes. so we can travel through time. Yes, I'm ready to go. Knowing that God's on my side, I feel like anything's amen. possible. <laughs> Dr. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's time for us to go to work. Yes. So long, kids. See you next time. <laughs>